I was actually surprised when I read that you weren't actually a, tra a trekker, like a trekkie yeah. when you began. How then? Then when they said they wanted you to do it, were you kind of like, mm, I'm not sure if this is a good idea? Well, or? well, they they approached me first uh, uh, to produce like a new reintroduction of Star Trek, and that was actually an, an interesting challenge because I thought, well, that's kind of cool, like taking something that never really spoke to me and then make a version and help be part of a version that would speak to people like myself who never got on board. Um, and, and growing up, I had friends who were huge fans of Star Trek. I just never uh, was one of them. And then uh, working with the writers and the producers on the movie and coming up with a story that we sort of started to fall in love with. And then when I read the script, finally, I thought, oh, this is crazy. It's like, it's got everything I love in movies. It just happens to be a Star Trek movie, and I thought if I want non-Trek fans to go to see this movie, then maybe a non-Trek fan should direct it, and that was why. I... To, to, um, because you're one of the few directors that people actually recognize, and and so, did you notice people were kind of looking at you funnier than once they once it was announced that you were going to be the director of Star Trek? Did you find? No, I, I'm so used to people looking at me funny, <laughs> that I just thought, it's just. There wasn't another elevated Status level quo. of no, like no, no, fans didn't no. come up to you and like go crazy or like. No, I mean the the fact is that there are you know the fans of Star Trek have always been passionate and and vocal about what they feel and um, I just didn't want to let them down. Yeah. Um, one of the best things is watching this film is this this really great chemistry between Chris Pine and Zachary, uh, and and how did you how long did it take for you to find them as the perfect kind of pairing, and, 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 and how did you find that chemistry? Or what well, was that? When, uh, when Zachary Quinto came in, it was immediately obvious this guy was born to play Spock. He just, he had the great look, he had this amazing talent, he had great intelligence, and had a sense of humor, and I just thought, this guy is perfect. Chris Pine was the last guy we cast, and uh, we just saw a lot of actors for Kirk, and we needed someone who had a great look, who was really talented, who was also, you know, not just smart, but funny, and, and Chris had that, and so we were just very lucky to find both of them. Luckily, they already knew each other a little bit, so having them work together was not hard. Um, to, to also cast John Cho in the film, it's just nice to see an Asian face in general, so to, uh, to have, you know, like, so what was it like to have him, and, 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 and you gave him a lot of fighting sequences. I thought that was really cool. Well, it's funny, you know, when, when we were, for this movie, obviously, we inherited the, the characters. So the main characters were, you know, the, the person to thank for, you know, the diversity that exists in this show is obviously Gene Roddenberry because he created these characters. And at the time, 43 years ago, the idea of having someone of Asian descent or African descent or Russian descent, you know, sharing a bridge with someone, of, you know, who's an American was like a more shocking, you know, deal than it is now. But it's so nice to, ha you know, have that. I, and quite frankly, one of the reasons that I, I, I wanted to populate all the, you know, the, the, extras or day players or background characters with as much diversity as possible. It just felt like that was the world that, that Gene Roddenberry, you know, was sort of presenting to us and saying that the future will be this, this ultimate collaboration of people crossing racial and cultural and sexual boundaries and just sort of, you know, and interspecies and then we, we will work together. So I love the optimism of that. Um, but John Cho was awesome and, you know, uh, it's funny, he, you know, when we screen the movie and in, in Russia, uh, in, in Moscow, people applauded when Chekhov came on screen. And I think people just like to see themselves in heroic roles. And so it was wonderful to be able to do that with, you know, with John Cho as well, who I've worked with on Felicity years ago, uh, who's a terrific dramatic as well as obviously comedic actor. Um, and it's, it was sort of, you know, again, it's just like he was just the right actor for the part. I was a little bit nervous because he wasn't of Japanese descent. And that was, you know, George Takei is, and that was a, a big deal for the role. And then I thought, screw it. You know, William Shatner was Canadian. You know, Zachary Quinto is not from Vulcan. Who cares? It's like the right actor is the right actor. You know, and John was just fantastic. <laughs>